seed Will the pie be ready in time? Hey everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIYs and home renovation videos. If you have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future DIY or decorating videos. Today is really exciting. I am joining very talented DIYers on YouTube to share our mantles. I will link the playlist below. Make sure you check out all their homes. They're gonna be doing beautiful Christmas home decor as well. I'm standing in front of our fireplace right now and you may have noticed it actually doesn't have a mantle. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to decorate around your fireplace when you don't have a mantle. I'm going to pull out Christmas decor I have, some greenery, some of the stockings, and really just experiment with what I feel like looks good this year. Um, my whole vibe for Christmas decor is very green, black, white, wood. So you can expect to see some of those elements, at least in my experimenting. And I'm going to decorate the little hearth we have too to give you a full picture of what it all looks like when it comes together. Okay, let's get started. Here's a better view of our full fireplace in the living room. We mounted our TV and sound bar above the fireplace and when we moved into this home we actually custom built this entire fireplace surround as well as the bench beside it and we custom built everything so that the wires would be hidden and as you can see we did not build a mantle into the design. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in more details about how we did the fireplace surround and hid all the wires. This year I'm going to hang these faux fur stockings that are personalized for our family. Without a mantle, we can't use any of the fancy stocking hangers or hooks underneath, so I always use these command strips. They're super easy to use. We actually have an indent where our soundbar sits and the command strips sit perfectly underneath it. But if I just had a flat face fireplace, I also would just stick them straight on the face. And especially if you have a nice tiled finish like our fireplace, it's really easy to put them on and remove them after the Christmas season. This time around, I'm going to try and space the stockings evenly, so I will just put the command strips down lightly, see how everything fits in place, and then move them around if I need to. Once all of my stockings are in place where I want them to be, then I'll press a little bit more firmly on the command strips to make sure that they are stuck in place. I'm going to keep a really minimal look for my stockings this year, but another fun way to add some texture and some color is just by adding some greenery, so I'm quickly going to show you how I do that too. I just buy these faux pine stems or greenery stems and use my side cutters to cut through the wire and cut some pieces off. Then since I have this inset in my fireplace, I can actually stick the greenery right in. I put enough in so that it looked nice and full. Last year I did this by hanging a full garland in that space and letting it drape down and I really loved that look too. Another thing you can do to add some visual interest to your stockings is add something like ornaments or little decor pieces. I am actually just tying the ornament string straight to the pom-pom string that already is on the stocking. Every year I buy a set of new ornaments, one for every member of our family so that the kids have their own collection one day and these are actually the ones that they're keeping this year so I thought they would look cute as a demonstration for hanging something on the stocking. If you don't have that hole for the soundbar like I do, another thing I've done in the past is just hang the greenery and whatever decor pieces like these Christmas bells straight on the stocking. I had attached these ones with some fishing line and I think they looked really cute hanging beside the stocking too. When you don't have a whole lot to decorate on the fireplace itself and you don't have a mantle, it's all about decorating and styling around that space. 
I had pulled absolutely everything out of this space before I started styling so that I had a completely blank space to work with. And then I just started pulling out some blankets and pillows and other decor pieces that I thought would fit nicely with the kind of vibe and style I was going for this year. I like to decorate the hearth but leave it pretty minimal as well. Here I just put a couple of logs in a basket and on the other side shortly you'll see that I'm putting a couple of little Christmas trees. Some other ideas for that area could be a basket with presents in it or throw blankets or even just a stack of nice Christmas boxes or gifts. On one side of my fireplace I have that built-in bench which is super easy to style and on the other side of the fireplace I want to add some more comfort and texture and height so I'm putting this blanket ladder in and adding some comfy throw blankets to try and balance out the space. When I was finished with all of my styling here is how the finished space looks without a mantle. These stockings are hung by themselves without any greenery or any additions and I still love the beautiful minimal look of them. I kept the entire palette in here pretty neutral and cozy and I love how it all came together. With the help of my kids, we were able to decorate the Christmas tree before I took some final videos, so I'm happy to be able to give you a full picture of the room. If you don't have a mantle either, hopefully this helps you get some inspiration for decorating around your fireplace and hanging up your stockings without the mantle there. Thank you so much for watching and following along with me as I decorated the mantle. It is definitely tricky to decorate a space with no mantle, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with how our decorating is coming along so far. Don't forget to check out the playlist and the other videos below for the people collaborating in this mantle tour. I know they're gonna have beautiful homes that you are definitely gonna wanna check out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit the bell so you can be notified of future DIY and home renovation videos. Thanks for watching.